हेलो एवरीवन आई एम अरिना इंटरनेशनल मास्टर एंड फीडे इंस्ट्रक्टर ऋषिकेश चौहान वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे इन चेस मेड सिंपल वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न सम इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट ऑफ द एंड गेम एंड दिस कंसेप्ट इज कॉल्ड द रॉन्ग बिशप लेट सी वॉट इज द रॉन्ग बिशप नाउ if you look at this position uh, it looks like white is easily going to win because he has one extra pawn and one extra bishop uh, so let's uh, make some move and uh, make some moves and let's see how exactly white can win this game so white starts with a a6 it's a very simple and straight forward win king forward king b6 king a8 uh, white will flush the king out of that a8 square and then check any king move that is the only move left king c8 and finally white will promote the queen on a8 and he will win uh, very soon so here there is one more trick let's see uh, check uh, sorry a6 king goes back king b6 king a8 now here instead of playing bishop uh, f3 check white can play bishop g4 why bishop g4 so by playing bishop g4 uh, white is creating a mating net around black king and so that he can checkmate the king very quickly so the game goes ahead like this king b8 check a7 now as we can see uh, why white has played bishop g4 on the third move so that king cannot escape uh, through c8 now king has to go on a8 square and finally there follows bishop f3 check bet now in this position it is it was very easy to win uh, because white is having the right bishop now what exactly is the right bishop so let's see theory says if it's a rook file passer then uh, whatever color uh, is the winning square white must be having the same color bishop if he wants to win so in this position the winning square is white white is having a white square bishop and that that's why he is winning let's see what happens if white has the wrong bishop so in this second position what we have done we have kept this white square bishop in the dark square so now winning square is white it's a rook file pawn and white is having a wrong bishop so the theory says uh, if uh, the passer is on the rook file and if uh, white is having wrong bishop or white is having a uh, bishop uh, which cannot control the winning square then this game will end in a draw provided the winning square is controlled by defending king let's see how this can be done so white continues with a6 king b8 king b6 king a8 now it's a bit difficult to flush the king out of this uh, a8 square because we don't have white square bishop we have a dark square bishop and again pawn cannot attack a8 and of course one king can never give check to the other king so that way all these three white pieces cannot flush out uh, white's king uh, sorry black's king and that way uh, if black king has no squares to move around then he will be stalemated on this a8 square let's see what uh, happens when uh, bishop h4 king b8 a7 check king goes inside of course and then whatever white plays it will be a stalemate so maybe he can play something like this and it's a stalemate right so this is the theory of the wrong bishop so again uh, let me explain this concept to you if this will work only if the passer is on the rook file so as you know these are the rook files so if we have a passer if we have a single passer on the rook file and we are having the wrong bishop which cannot controls the winning square then the game ends in a draw if that winning square is controlled by the defending king we'll explain this topic in a better way in this uh, other uh, puzzles let's see what's happening over here uh, now to execute this idea uh the defending king must control the winning square so white pawn is moving towards this side so a8 is the winning square and now if black wants to use this the wrong bishop idea he must control this a8 square then only the, the game will end in a draw right 
let's see if this if that happens if white doesn't allow him to control the a8 square then white pawn marches on and white will win the game so the game goes ahead like this bishop b4 forced king has to uh, come down king a5 king c4 a4 king d5 now here black is trying to get his king towards the uh, queening square so that he can draw the game but white is alert white plays king b6 and as you can see there is no way white can uh, black uh, king can reach a8 square and that way even though this is a wrong bishop position white wins the game so there are exceptions for this rule so uh, you have to calculate uh, in advance whether uh, the position uh, is of wrong bishop and if there is a wrong bishop position where the defending king is controlling the queening square or not if the de defending king is controlling the queening square then there is no way uh, uh, the attacking king uh, can win this game let's move ahead okay now again the same thing we have rook file pawn we have this wrong bishop because the queening square is white king is a uh, bit far away so here it looks like uh, black should uh, win this uh, black should draw this game because uh, he, his king can reach the a8 uh, much uh, quickly or much in a quicker way than the white's king let's see what happens king d5 king d7 of course king d7 if he goes uh, to uh, this square then there follows uh, king c6 king c8 and finally bishop f4 and as you can see because of these two pieces king cannot reach a8 in this position uh, even though white uh, black plays the uh, king d7 white is going to employ the similar uh, looking idea bishop f4 so that king is cut off from this square so to reach uh, this 8 square king has to move from c8 and once the king reaches c8 white plays king c6 and as you can see there is no way white king can reach a8 and then the pawn marches on and this is a win so again we can say this is one of those exceptional uh, or exceptions to this uh, wrong bishop rule let's move ahead now uh, white has the wrong bishop and black can secure a draw by moving his king to h8 square so this pawn will be moving to h8 and white has white square bishop whereas h8 square is a dark square uh, a dark winning square now why if uh, black wants to reach h8 very quickly he has to calculate in advance he cannot just play blindly and uh, hope to reach uh, h8 square in time because there are certain uh, position or certain possibilities in this position where he won't be able to reach h8 let's see king e4 is the only uh, uh, move which will help black king to reach h8 h5 king goes up king c4 and finally king uh, moves towards the h8 destination king d5 king g7 and black reaches the safe haven on h8 and the game ends in a draw now in this position black can go wrong so for example king f4 looks uh, very promising and uh, uh, very uh, you can say juicy move or interesting move but in fact king f4 is a blunder after king f4 white king uh, black king cannot reach h8 because there follows king d4 and as you can see all these squares are blocked black king cannot move ahead so he has to move back and that way uh, king will move ahead and he will simply push the pawn and he will win right next okay what do you have over here uh, this is again a similar looking position where white is having wrong bishop there is a rook file pawn h pawn and the uh, safe haven or the queening square is h8 so let's see if white uh, uh, stops black from reaching h8 square or whether black draws this game by controlling h8 so 
king e7 again king e7 is the only drawing move if here black plays king e8 then the game will end in a draw end in a uh, win for white because there follows bishop d5 pawn push and finally h6 and as you can see all these squares are controlled by white pieces and king cannot reach h8 square meanwhile the white will uh, move his king close to the pawn or once the king moves away he can simply push the pawn ahead and he can promote the queen so in this position king e7 is the only option for black to save the game so the game may progress uh, ahead like this king g5 king f7 king h6 here again uh, black is trying to uh, reach h8 and at the same time white is trying to stop black king from reaching reaching h8 square check there is no way white can stop black king from uh, reaching that safe haven on h8 and finally the game ends in a draw even though white is uh, bishop uh, up and pawn up this material is not enough to force a win because as we have ju just discussed this is the wrong bishop let's move ahead okay what do we have over here uh, now white pawn can uh, promote in two modes and black king looks pretty close to the h8 square so this looks like black should uh, draw this game because black can reach this h8 square and king is far away from the action so king cannot participate very quickly but uh, if you uh, look at this position carefully you will come to know that black's position is dead lost black cannot reach this h8 square so the winning move is bishop h7 and as you can see all the squares are blocked king cannot go past these squares and he can never reach h8 square and that way king is cut off and white can slowly move his king up support the pawn and then one fine day that will come very soon he will promote his queen so the game may progress like this king f6 king f4 using the opposition king f7 king f5 maintaining the opposition king f8 king f6 king e8 finally king has to move uh, to, uh, towards the other side because he cannot move towards the h8 uh, side of the board king g7 and soon uh, white will get his brand new queen he will simply move the bishop away and in two pawn pushes he uh, the white queen will be there on the board and white will win the game we will conclude this chapter with this interesting position let's see uh, what do we have over here uh, it's black it's white to play black spawn is uh, uh, moving towards h1 square so h1 is the queening square and as we can see bishop is the wrong bishop uh, here black is trying to force a win because his king is active uh, black is trying to move the king up so that he can cut this king away from this uh, h1 square so can you find the winning move or the not winning move exactly can you find the best move for white in this position you can pause this video and calculate Let's see if you can get it. Okay. Let's see what is the perfect move. What is the correct way for white to draw this game. The only drawing move is king f3. White must not capture this bishop or else. Let's see what happens if he captures. If he captures the bishop. Then white will uh, keep the king away from this uh, queening square. King to f3. King g3. King e2, again white is trying to get inside so that he can control this h, uh, h1 square. But then there follows king g2 and all the uh, saving ideas are gone. White is dead lost. Black will keep pushing his pawn ahead and he will get his queen very soon. So that is why in this position white must not capture the bishop. If white realizes that this is a wrong bishop and a wrong bishop possess no harm to him if there is a rook file passer so he can leave that bishop alone and he can move his king towards the winning square so king h4 king g2 and after h5 
white king reaches the safe haven and from this h1 square black pieces cannot flush the king out and the game will end in a draw very soon i hope you understood this wrong bishop concept uh, we'll be getting uh, we'll be bringing one more uh, part of this uh, topic to you so stay tuned thank you very much everyone